welcome to Era of Prayer and Prophecy, where God does amazing, super amazing things. Well, before we begin today, I would like Sister Mary to read some testimonies from our viewers all over the world. Sister Mary, over to you. Okay, this one is from Mrs. Anita Onoha. Okay. I want to thank the God of Era of Prayer and Prophecy. Sometime last year, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer and I was told I needed to undergo surgery in order to have a fighting chance. The surgery was said to be a 50-50 situation and I was very scared. A friend sent me the link to connect to the era of prayer and prophecy. And to my greatest surprise, my case was mentioned. I cried out my heart to God that day. On the day I was, set, I was scheduled to come for final checks before surgery, they, they checked and couldn't find the cancer anymore. Thank you, Jesus. I went to another hospital Thank and no Jesus. cancer was found. I am Jesus. healed. Thank, Thank you, Pastor Sidney. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you. you. We give you all the glory. Thank you. Oh, boy, Canada. Oh, boy, Canada. Oh, boy, Canada. Thank you, Jesus, for this amazing testimonies. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. We know you will give us even more testimonies. Thank you. Ah, oh, Shantaya. There is a brother out there. There is a contract you have been chasing for more than a year. It is worth 500 million now. They have been pulling you left, right and center. Toy with you when I tell you what. You are destined for testimony. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. I want you to receive it. The Bible says in Revelation 12 verse 11 that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of the testimony. Your time has come. Amen. So I want you to receive it from your heart. Open up your heart and receive it. What? A pastor's wife naked like this? God forbid it. I bind every Jezebelian spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. I punish you from this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. You hallow three spirits. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Woo! My God. You will not stay in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Lord, give him testimonies. Open up your heart. Pray. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive your testimony, brother. Receive it. You are destined for greatness. Receive it. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. I am here, sir. Okay, sir. And sir, I won't let it get to that, sir. I promise. Okay, sir. I will keep praying to God for his intervention, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, Mary. Do you realize that I am a man of God? And I'm a woman with a need. Even the Bible says, do not deny a woman her conjugal rights. Did I deny you your conjugal rights? Did I? <laughs> so many times. Let's talk about earlier this morning when I wanted to make love to my darling husband. Huh? What did you say? What did I say? I thought we had an agreement that we'll find a convenient time within the week to have our private life. Mm, you talked and I listened. But my body sent a whole new signal which was all fire and I need my eyes to quench it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. 
Do you realize the horrible things people are saying about you online, on social media? Oh. About our marriage? Do you realize it? Oh, people will always talk. I don't care. Well, I care. I care because I am a pastor. So? <laughs> See, so they make I clear you. All right? If I want good sex from my legally married husband, I damn well will get it. Because it's my right. And let me tell you this. The next time you pull that stunt that you did earlier today, get prepared. Because what you will witness will be a lot more dramatic than what you saw today. Trust me. to join my party, babe? Please do you have my car keys? Because I've been looking for it where I kept it inside. Oh. Please let me... Let's play a game. I'll ask you a question. And if you get the answer right, I'll give you back your keys. Otherwise, he'll do whatever I ask. On a note, what kind of married woman plays silly game early in the morning? What, what kind of... A very irresponsible one. Oh, don't I look irresponsible enough? Can I have my car keys, please? Hmm. <gasps> it just went deep down. Okay. There's an option B. You can come get your keys. And I promise I will not stop you. Let me have my car keys, please. I beg you. I'm late. I'm, I'm late. I need, I need to catch up with the meeting, please. Honome, have you no shame? Like, don't you have any shame? Mm. Shame. I used to. A very long time ago. But a certain wise man told me that it is better to live a shameless life that to be buried by people's opinions. So, here I am, as shameless as a dog in heat. Jesus Look at you. Jesus. Buried head deep by everyone's opinion. Ugh. I can smell your misery from here. Do you know what you're smelling? Your bad behavior. Your miserable behavior. Honome, I have found life in Christ. Yes, and I am so happy about it. It is the best thing that has happened to me. Mm. I will continue to pray for you to find life in him too. Mm. I will. Come on. Don't be bright. Babe, where are you going with all your car keys? Huh? All right, all right. Come get the keys. Babe, are you going to walk? Come get the keys. You can't be walking on the...
Happy anniversary, babe. Oh, oh. Skip my mind. You What's... forgot? No. Yes, I totally skipped my mind. I'm so sorry. What's the difference? What's with the phone? Why are you recording me? Mm. You remember our anniversary two years ago? Babe? Yeah, what's up? Baby! Yes, what, what's up? What's, what's going on? The water just stops running. Why? What, what happened? Did someone turn it off? Why would anyone do that? Please, can you just help me check? I can't go outside like this. Why? Why? Why won't you? It's our compound and we live here alone. So, please, I'm doing something. Really? Come on, I'm working on something. So tell me, how does it feel to be beaten this year by your amazing ass bag? <sighs> oh my god, I, I knew it! I knew you were planning something all along. I, I, Sydney! Sydney! Mind yourself, oh, if I get in there, Sydney, I swear to God! I. Hold on a second. If. No, baby, that is a cash word. If, because you're not going to catch me because you are staying there till 6 p.m. What? Sid <laughs> Sydney, you will not dare. I said you will not dare, Sydney. Oh, uh, oh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fine. Like you did mess me up on our last year's anniversary, right? Don't get me. Hey, finally. <laughs> Sydney, babe. Your wife is outside half naked though. Hmm? Oh yeah, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. My love, Namio. Ah! You go die. You go bam. You go quench. Me, I know the dangerous man I don't. I know the dangerous man I don't. Sydney, Sydney, open this door. Who's playing? With? I'm not playing with you. Open this door. Open this door right now. Hey, fuck up, Sydney. Hey, I swear, I swear. You see next year, if you not cry for my hand, I will be on my man. Sydney, open this door. Open this door. I'm sorry. This is my year. Woo! Are you there? Sydney, open this door now. I'm not wearing anything. Oh. Exactly. I promised you a good cry, didn't I? Hey, what? <clears throat> Can you just chop the phone, please? Oh, please chop the phone. Let's talk about this. Stop recording, please. Mm, uh, oh. Nah. This is too funny. You need to see your face. <laughs> what, my face? What, what did you do to my face? Nothing much, just creating a good anniversary memory, you know. <laughs> what is this? What, what is wrong? What? Jesus Christ. Stop, stop, stop. No. Can you, can you just drop this phone? Let's talk about this, please. No. Oh, let stop this now. You can't be doing this all the time. It's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, <laughs> if anyone sees this video, you won't like what I will do to you. Easy, Pastor. Careful with the threats. You are on live. 
And what? Give me the Let me have the You need to see the comments. Jesus Christ. Savage. Uh, I, I, I command you to drop that phone right now. Uh, command. Who did they command? I resemble oh, evil spirits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong? Why, why are you so stubborn? What is wrong with you? Beg. Sydney, you will beg me before I will drop this phone. You made me beg until my throat went dry the last time. Ah. Let me have the phone. No. Get, ah! get the phone! <laughs> oh. It's a prank. Oh, it's so nice. So, so. Hey. Listen, I, I am so sorry I forgot. I totally skipped my mind. I'm so I'm sorry, Jesus. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a surprise to visit. Visit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So, how are you? Ah, mommy, I am very fine. I I hope all is well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And, you know, early this morning, one of the elders in the church called us and told us that his wife was having a difficult labor. So we decided to go and pray for them. Oh, oh that is so nice. I, I hope they are fine. Oh, she is fine. She actually put to bed before we left the hospital. Hallelujah. Mother and child, perfect health. Hallelujah. Many thanks to the God of miracles. Amen. Um, Pastor Ike, how is your wife? Uh, Daddy, my wife is very fine. Uh, let me quickly get her. Oh, please, pardon my manners. What do I offer you, please? No, <laughs> we are fine. Okay? okay? If we need anything, we'll let you know. Okay, then I'll, I'll just quickly okay. get it. Oh, okay. Okay. Hurry. I am so sorry I forgot about our anniversary. Please, please forgive me. I'm also sorry we are not how we used to be anymore. I found Jesus. I found happiness in Him. I, I, I found peace of mind and I hope you find Him too. Please. We cannot continue like this, I beg you. <sighs> Pastor Umwoka and his wife are in the living room. <sighs> Please, I beg you, let's move past this wedding and the first we issue and just be happy again. Sure. Thank you. On the condition that we'll go clubbing tonight. Clubbing? Yes. Honey, what would people say when they see me in the club? I'm a pastor for Christ's sake. Uh, shut the hell up and mind their business. <laughs> and you think it's that easy? Let me make it easy, Sydney. It is either you take me to the club tonight or you just leave me alone. <sighs> um, I'll take you somewhere special tonight. Someone you would love, trust me. Just to cover up what happened. Somewhere like. Don't just don't worry. Just take it like a little surprise. You'll love it. Trust me. You okay. Mind. So, uh, uh, are we good now? Almost. Almost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, come. Hey, what about you? Shh, let me whisper something to you. Oh. <laughs> now we're good. For now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man of 
of God. What happened? Oh, mom, mommy, it was a minor accident, but I'll take care of it. <laughs> My wife. Hi, Mrs. E.K., how are you? Oh, I'm very well, Pastor. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, ma. Anna, how are you? I am fine, Susanna. Susan, not Susanna. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh by the way, Pastor, you're becoming quite unpopular these days on social media. You know. <laughs> You really need to do something about it. Oh, mommy, I put everything in God's hand. I strongly believe the one who called me to service will not, will not put me to shame. You need to unburden yourself. Yes, I trust <laughs> God will not put me to shame. <laughs> Huh? Did you say something, baby? No, I <laughs> Oh, I thought I heard something. We are physically so Um I think we have to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let, let me walk you to your car. No, 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 no. You don't have to leave. Uh, no, stay and finish um, up. Uh, Daddy, you you go. Uh, Wait for me. No, you <sighs> Today, you know that you know what today is, right? <laughs> hmm. No, now you for stay. They're gonna make sure you pay pay. No sense. Susanna, you know that is not her name. Plus, she's not your mate. Well, maybe my co-wife, because she sure likes to act like my rival. No, no, that is the wife of our spiritual father. Don't you mean your mommy? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, why do you enjoy the devil using you to torment others? Why? Like, why do you submit yourself to temptations? Why? Well... If the devil likes to use others to torment me, I might as well just surrender myself to the devil to use me. Ah, that woman! That witch of whom I will resemble all those a shower with all retired, I will see better husband. Oh, 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 oh. Quiet, nice husband tomorrow. We just get luck. They call me your battle. Me! On my man. Ah! She get luck, oh. She's so lucky that her husband is someone I respect so much. Otherwise! Did she mention your name or no? Did she? Really? Sydney, you're gonna look me in the eye and pretend like you didn't know she was referring to me. Huh? <laughs> I really need to investigate this your calling. What kind of a man of God are you? Um, uh, uh, please. I won't have you insult me. I won't. I do not deserve insults to Sydney. I don't deserve insults for being in my own freaking lane. Minding my own damn business and living my life like I own it because I do! You give these people the right to insult me, to judge me, talk about me like I'm a nobody. So that you know how difficult it is to live the kind of life I live now. I have no friends, not a single one. You were my best friend, my, my partner in crime, my playmate. We were everything together. But now I have to live in this world that we built together all by myself. When you have the time of your life with strangers who have no freaking idea of what we have been through together. Cindy, I beg! 
I beg. Leave me alone, Lord. Just leave me alone. Leave me to hell alone. going anywhere without me tonight. Hey, honey, listen. Mary's uncle just had a heart attack. Where are they? The hospital. So I, I, I need to quickly go there, please. Good. So, let the doctors do the job. The doctors you are... are not a doctor. Hey, honey, the doctors are doing their best, but they are not God. Neither are you. I am a servant of God, chosen by God. Moreover, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me that he's suffering from a spiritual attack. Mm. Please. Okay. I need you to minister back to the Holy Spirit to please help you set him free on your behalf. Because tonight, your wife needs you. What are you talking about? What? We're talking about someone's life here. What about my life, sir? What about my life? Look, people do not need attention only when they are sick. Or are you waiting until I get a spiritual attack before you make out time for me? May God forbid. Great! Then it's settled. We are going out tonight to celebrate our wedding anniversary. No, honey, listen. We both know that you won't be done with this makeup in the next one hour. Please, I beg you, let me go and save someone's life. It'll be a blessing to us and our generation to come. Please. Please, I beg you. One hour. One hour, 30 minutes. Sydney! Please. I beg you. Fine. One hour, 30 minutes, Sydney. Thank you. Nothing more. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you. I want to stay so long. Thank you. Thank you. Try this thing you're about to do. If you try me, I swear. Try me. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> if you like, come back at midnight. Eh? You will still take me out tonight. You must.
मिसरेबल एनिवर्सरी उन्होंने verse 20, Jesus said, For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Let me hear your version, please. Okay. I tell you then that you will be able to enter the kingdom of heaven only if you are more faithful than the teachers of the law and the Pharisees in doing what God requires. You see, what Jesus was trying to say. Are you two having sex? Jesus Christ, what, what are you talking What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Jeez. Relax, you both. Look, I know that would never happen between you two. Ah, sad. Sister Mary. <laughs> Sister Mary. <laughs> Look, honey, I said there's no problem. I am fine. I was just messing with you two. You're so boring. Look, I know that, girl, Sydney will never Ever, whether in this life, whether in the previous life, whether in the afterlife, ever have sex with a girl like you. Not even when he was still in the world, having sex with different girls. And I mean different girls, except that. <laughs> Yuck. You see, he likes his girls. Sexy, hot, and bad. Why do you think I'm like this? But if he's down for, you know, some holy sex with Sister Mary, 
Sir, yeah, you just have to. I'll see oh, you tomorrow. Mary, 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 Mother of Jesus! Oh, why the rush? Huh? Why the rush? Don't you want this man of God? Look at him, so handsome. Huh? Don't you want him doing some holy shit to you? Huh? I know you want it. Ah! Oh. Oh. Have me, Lord! Have me, Lord! <laughs> Come on. Ooh! That's some ass. Huh? Look at that. <laughs> so, you have this, Mary. And you've been hiding this in all of this, your hideous, awful clothes. <gasps> Baby! You, you are a suspect. Huh? You mean to say you never noticed what I'm saying here? Huh? Huh? Sister Mary, look. I tell you what. Why don't I change you into something really sexy? So you can give my husband here a lap dance. I will pay you good money. <laughs> you will be my anniversary gift to my husband. How about that? Uh, Honey, what do you say <clears throat> now? Hey, hey. Listen. Hey, honey, please, please just calm down. I beg you, please calm down. I know you're mad at me that we didn't get to celebrate our anniversary this year, but... I'm mad? Oh, trust me, Sydney, you have not seen my madness. Honey, man, please, I beg you, just... Just let Sister Mary go. I beg you, please, please. Oh, we can talk about this when she's gone. I beg you, please, please. Oh, thank you. I know you are obviously mad at me. I know. But I am so sorry. Please, I really am. Forgive me, please. I beg you. But that is not enough reason for you to treat an innocent girl that eh? way. Which innocent? Who oh, innocent? Oh, I, 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 That's I, I, one. I, I, yes, uh, just, just relax, please. Just calm down. So, how do I make it up to you? Just tell me and anything I'll do it just to make you happy, please. I thought you'd never ask. Surprises. You are going to enjoy it. Oh, God. Oh, honey, why do I have a weird feeling that I'm about to have a heart attack? Ooh, that's because you're about to. You are sure going to have a heart attack. Oh, God, please But don't. in a good way. <laughs> oh, it's no surprise. I, I just hope okay. it's worth it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. I found a way to make our anniversary memorable. Finally. 
since you can't take me to the club, a bar, a lounge, or anywhere at all, I decided mm -hmm. to bring the party home. Hey, <laughs> what are you talking about? So what? sit back, relax, okay. and enjoy the show. Fine. <laughs> right. I'm relaxed. Come on, should I, should I take it off? No, shh. Hey. Um, okay. Okay, right. Keep your hands down. Yes. I'm about to enjoy it. <laughs> hey, I, I, hope, I, I hope it's something cool. Oh, oh, trust me, you know I'm the sweetest wife. Okay. Full of surprises. Right? What is it you want to surprise me with now? Blood of Jesus! <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing here? How did you get in here? Just go, just go, 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 go! Where are you going? Go, 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 go! Jesus Christ! Go, go, go! Don't you ever come back here again! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Okay. I see you don't like my anniversary present. That's okay. No problem. But, can I have my own present now? Is this a surprise? Present. May God have mercy on you. Amen. Shabaraba. Can I have my anniversary present now? Honey, please hurry up. We're late. Oh no, man, we are late. Answer that before a camera on the red carpet. Uh, oh no, man, please go upstairs and change to something better. Not this, I beg you. <laughs> Certainly, you know that there is no way in this God's loving world I would do that. Oh God, do you even know where we are going? Do you? Uh, yes, a party. It's Pastor Jerry's birthday, and they invited us to come have lunch with them. Sounds like a party to me. Um, uh, Honor, please. There's no way you're going out with me dressed like this. It's not going to happen. Is that so? Okay. Go to your party alone then. Uh, wait, 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 wait. If you insist on going off naked, suit yourself. Call me whatever you want. Let's just go, please. You did! Yes, and I said I have the most elegant pose. That's right. Because I have the most best coat. Ah, I'm glad I could help. Yes. Come here. I love your dress. You do? Yes. Thank you. Please don't tell mom I said that. <coughs> Hi, mom. Uh, Pastor. Good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon. It's so good. 
You were able to make it. Uh, mommy, for daddy, I will do anything. <laughs> I can't forget how he spent months studying the scriptures with me. You two were great assistant. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, mommy. I love young men. I just love people that are serious about the things of God. Thank you, mommy. Thank, thank you. Mommy? <laughs> Susanna. Susanna. Not Susanna. Oh, Pastor. Oh, mommy. Please sit down while I announce your arrival to my husband. Oh, mommy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. <laughs> if you like, sit. celebrate my husband's birthday. I would like to preach or say one thing I've always taught the women in church. He that does not know God is finished. You, you, you need to love God and then God will love you in return. I just love People, especially women that thirst and hunger for God. Because if they do that, God will be on their side. But when you do not hunger for God, you will be doomed. <laughs> well, enough of the preaching. The, the message has been sent. I think we need to come up with a song of worship. Though. Who would lead? Oh, my, my, my. Oh, no, Can you lead us in a song of the worship? Hmm. <clears throat> Anything I do not go do we no not go do we no not go do we no Anything I do not go do we no not God do we no not God do we um, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our lives. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have Dressing like a sex worker to the house of a man of God. I told you about it. Oh, right? I did. I am dressed like a sex worker. But I, but I okay, to... I will show you now how a sex worker behaves. Come on. Okay, oh, I will show you now. Christ. I will show you. You. I don't care, Sydney. 
I will go look for my crowd. I will say too. Be careful, right? Look, wherever you're going, I'm going to. Uh, uh, so that, that is my wife you're talking about. What? Are you, are you supposed to come to the house with me? Watch me, Sydney. Uh, hey, listen, listen. You, 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 you're not doing this. I right? don't care. Uh, um, I. What the fuck was this? Hello, Sister Mary. What? Where, 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 where exactly? Oh, ecstasy, yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll be right there. Babe, why are you still angry over the little drama of yesterday? You call that drama little? Someone saw you at the club dancing, partying, and took a picture of you and posted it on my page and you called that little drama? Well, what can I say? Eh? Those your followers they are so jobless that they have decided to just be monitoring my life up and down. Uh -uh. You know, sometimes I even wonder between me and them, who's the real Christian? Because you know me, oh, I mind my own business and I don't judge anybody. But those are social media chipmunks. <laughs> they really enjoy to disparage and, 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 and condemn people. So much for Christ-like. Better be careful. Don't play with fire. Abi Fire should not play with me. <laughs> I beg, babe, don't worry yourself. I will quench the fire before it will burn me. Huh? Don't be angry now. Princess Chimamanda, I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. Ever since I joined Era of Prayer and Prophecy, things have been going fine for me and my family members. Coming. Hurry up! For the past four years, I've been applying for admission, and finally I got it this year. I'm really grateful to God. I thank hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Fast, fast, fast. To change my life and my family members. Thank you. Lord, Lord, you are amazing. Amen. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. <laughs> I'm 
here. Are you, are you okay? Did something enter your eyes? What? No. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. You know your wife God now. God forbid you cannot be a fool, daddy. Don't say that. Come on. Hey, I'll tell you what. Era of prayer and prophecy is going global. We are national TV, darling. Look, look, look at the screen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for everything. Hey, you know what? When I started this journey, God revealed to me that I will fly beyond the heights of eagle. Darling, it is happening already. Thank you, Jesus. Can you imagine? I'm on TV. <laughs> look at, just look at testimonies everywhere. People are testifying to God's greatness. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. I want to thank God for what God don't do for me through Pastor Signe. I cannot imagine. <laughs> Uh, you said you wanted to show me something. Yes, darling. This is it. Is it all worth celebrating? It is! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey, come on, just stay focused. You know what? You want to go to the kitchen? Yeah, just go finish up what you're doing, okay? Thank you, Grace. Just the moon is Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah! Jesus, we are going global. EPP is going global. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. Thank you. Lord. Hey, honey. Hey, good news, good news. Come, come. Listen, come see. Hey, darling, you know what? In less than 24 hours, we've had almost 1,500 new Facebook subscribers and 10,000 viewers. Darling, EPP is going global. God is just taking us beyond imagination. Thank you. Hey, honey, are you okay? Do I look sick? Oh, um, you've been awfully quiet all day, and that's all like you. There's nothing to talk about. Enjoy your meal. Excuse uh, me. beautiful people of God. Welcome to today's episode of Era of Prayer and Prophecy. I am always excited to be in this moment with you where we get to share the beautiful Word of God together as a body and as a family. When I started this journey a long time ago, there were a series of challenges, setbacks and temptations, but your love, support, care and prayers have kept me this strong. So I say thank you. God bless you, be your good. So today we have a special guest in our midst. He is my father, my mentor. I call him Grace on two legs. Beautiful people of God, welcome, Pastor Jerry. Welcome, Jerry. Welcome, Daddy. Welcome, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beautiful people of God. We have to pray. Mm. It's a season for prayer. Mm -hmm. yes, sure. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Lord, yes yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know that a closed mouth is a closed yes, destiny. destiny. Yes, Father. Hey! <laughs> yes, Lord. Be in the mood of prayer. Holy Ghost.
You are lucky I am not the type that hates a woman, even when I was in the world. If not, the kind of hot slap you would have received now, even till next year, you would still feel the impact. Do tiny piece of temptation from the pit of hell. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Or say they sent you, right? They sent you to come and frustrate me. Oh well, tell them that they have failed. Are you mad? Listen, in our lives as husband and wife, if you ever speak to me that manner again, Sydney, I swear you will regret ever knowing me. You raised your finger on me. Do you want another hot slap just to reassure you that you're not dreaming? Huh? I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith through Christ Jesus. So I must love. Even when I'm angered or trampled upon, I must love. I want you to understand that the Lord is with you no matter what you go through. He said in his word that there's no temptation that is uncommon to man. The good thing is that he said that he will always be there for you. He said he will not allow you to be tempted above your capacity so that you do not stretch your hand unto iniquity. He who called you has promised to sustain you. Okay? Amen, Pastor. Thank you, Daddy. Moreover, she is a woman, so do not uh, try. Uh, no, no, Daddy. There is no temptation I cannot overcome through Christ that strengthens me. Mm -hmm. No. The Lord be with you. Amen, Daddy. Sister Mary. Yes, Pastor. Have a nice day. Yes. Uh, Sister Mary. Yes, Pastor. As soon as you get to your house, make a video. Apologize to everyone. You know what to say. Just tell them. I had an emergency to attend to, personal emergency. That's why we couldn't continue with the program. Okay, Pastor. Um, how about our midweek outreach? Are we still doing that here? Oh, yeah, sure. It stands. Yeah, nothing changes. Okay, okay, Pastor. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Please be safe. I, I will, Birthday. What? Yesterday was my birthday. And you forgot. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You waited all day and night. Waited, hoping that I'll get just a common happy birthday on my life. Oh, God. It never came out of your mouth. At first I thought you were pretending to forget. But then I realized that you actually forgot. Oh God. That was... 
trusted me. Why are you gradually fading me from your mind when all I do is love you? Don't you talk like that, how? Don't talk like that. On your last birthday, I woke you up with a birthday cake and a romantic breakfast in bed. But all you wanted to do that there was fast and pray. Then you asked me to join you. And I did. I fasted and prayed with you. I did not eat the whole day just to make you happy. Hey. Oh, yeah. I am so sorry. I don't know how I forgot your special day. I was trying to imagine that I didn't want to go over me, please. I know. I know how and exactly why you forgot. I don't mean anything to you anymore. You are ashamed of me. You are ashamed to celebrate me. You are ashamed that your followers will criticize you for celebrating someone like me. Oh, that is not true. It's I, I know my followers are not particularly fond of you. They detest me! But I love you! Hey, I love you. That is all that matters. You are my wife. My wife. By the way. Hey. I am so sorry that I forgot your special day. I'm so sorry, please. I don't know how it skipped my mind. I, I thought about it at first and... I am sorry. I promise I am going to make it up to you, okay? Please. Please, darling. You know, that didn't change the fact that you slapped me. And it wasn't fair. I know. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. It's alright. It's alright. I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> but you're still going to take me out to celebrate my birthday. Of course I will. Why not? Hey! <laughs> it's a special day, so I'm taking you out on Saturday. Ah, uh, that's fine. As long as it's somewhere fun. Yeah, sure. It's gonna be fun all night. <laughs> all night? Yes! Ah, it's great! All night prayers and fasting. Are you crazy? What the fuck? What happened? I was following you people. Pastor Ike's wife and her drama. Again, Mrs. Ike. Why didn't you just advise Pastor to divorce her? It's obvious they're not compatible. Me? Advise a man to divorce his wife? Yes. The woman is just too much trouble. There's no way. She's not encouraging at all. That's not enough reason for me to tell him to send his wife away. Well, the Bible says, if your right hand would cause you to sin and stop you from making it to heaven, you should cut it off. And the Bible says, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. I don't think it's God that joined this one together. She schemed her way into his life. <laughs> you don't know the full story. So you're not in the best position to say that. Anyway, do you have her phone number? Whose number? Pasike's wife? Yes. Why? Well, I, I think I need to call her and talk to her one-on-one -on -one and let her see reasons that what she's doing is not right. Okay, that's good. I do not have a number, but 
I, will, I can ask her husband to send the number. Please, call him and ask, but don't let him know that I want to talk to his wife. Why? Mm, let's just say that that's how I feel. <sighs> I'll do that much later, but right now, I am famished. I thought we were watching our weight. I will not die trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have ch um, jollof rice and then I have um, pounded yam and ebusi soup. Which one do you want? Just like you said, my yeah. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many wraps oh. of pounded yam? We're going to start with two. I am starting with one. <laughs> oh, well. Food coming. All right. anyone today that you will lock a destiny in your marine kingdom? Because I got a Facebook message from a lady who claimed my wife confessed to, to being a water goddess. Ah! Sydney, you will kill me today! You what? must kill me today! What is it? Because I, I have seen that my death will make you a happier man! I... Kill me and be I happy, ask Sydney! You a question, Onome. What are you talking about? Come back here, Agatha. What do you want? I don't want to say I don't want to finish. I want to. That's fine. You can go. Shut the door behind you. Back to you, Mr. Man. So you get mind. Put my number for your social media page. Your number? What are you talking about? Where, where's that coming from? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Let me break it down for you. I've been receiving calls and messages from, from, from people, unknown numbers. They say that they are your social media followers. They said, and I quote, You Jesse Bell, leave Pastor Sidney's house so he can marry a woman that will help him do the work of the Lord. Honey, where, where's that coming from? I, I didn't give anybody a number. I didn't, I, what, what are you talking? It's, 
It's strange. Where's this coming from? Who published my number on social media? Me? God, God is my witness. I did not. You better think before you speak. Honey, I know what I'm saying. I, I didn't. Why would I publish your number on social media? Oh. Well, I. Yesterday I gave Daddy your number. He asked for it. Yeah, it's just, just, just Daddy. Pastor Jerry. Yes, Pastor Jerry. Did he tell you why he wanted my number? No, he didn't tell me anything. I. I actually thought he wanted to give you some counseling or something. Hey, where, where is all this coming from? Or his wife asked him to get the number. She must be the one behind hey. this. Hey, well, don't talk like that. Don't accuse mommy wrongly. She wouldn't do a thing like that. How, 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 how could she do that? Come on. Now you're my man now, right? You are my dear for village, but don't forget. Hi. Also, you want me to believe this is a mere coincidence I, uh, that her husband Asked for my number yesterday, and today, all of a sudden, I am getting harassment calls. What are, what I am trying to say, honey, is that don't accuse her wrongly. You don't have any evidence at hand, so you, it's wrong for you to jump into a conclusion like that. You know what? It is pointless arguing over this with you. But I'll tell you this. You see those your community of, 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 of Nikon Pops? That call themselves your followers. Tell them all. <laughs> Tell them they say oh, no, they Chris. Oh. Then I say I faced Chris before. Hmm? My head no dawn. I know well. And you know this. Mm. Tell them they say they're not rich. Yes, you fucking listen, Sydney. You don't forget who I be. I be. I go lost them. I only fear them when I get lost when I make lost well. I know why I left social media for them. So because I'm scared. And you fucking know it. It's only out of respect for my husband that I love so much. But let them know that only one person I will set example. Okay? I go last person. I go carry them, go yonder. Tell them. And by that time when I'm done, <laughs> the rest of them eh, will come out of my body. Do you hear me? Nonsense.
but no matter what they do, you see this marriage is for better for worse. Excuse me, sir. What's what that? Hi. Oh. Uh. How, how the hell did you get in here? And who are you? Um. I knocked, but you did not respond. So who are you? I'm from Abyss Delivery. You ordered some food. Oh, Abyss. Well, let me have it. Oh. Um, all right, sir. Have a nice day. Oh, oh. Hold sir? on. Have you noticed? Have you noticed that you're stained? Stained? Yeah, sure. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> um, I must have had a slip. Can I please use your bathroom? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? And if you don't mind, I have a dress that would fit, you know, fit your sweet shape. <laughs> if you want it, I, I'll give it to you. If your wife approves? Wife? Oh, come on. Knock it off. I am single and... Always, always ready to mingle. <laughs> and, and you have dresses in the... Oh, oh please. No, man. Please excuse my manners, okay? Oh. I'm sorry for bombarding you with so many questions. Of course, I'll let you change your clothes. Thank you. That's fine, that's fine. You ready? Uh, which yeah. way, please? Come on, I'll show you. Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate your kindness. Thank you so much. Oh. That's with my girlfriend is nobody's business. Hmm? She's my woman now, eh? You're crazy. I am. You can say that. <laughs> you can say that again. Stop. <laughs> hey, I just want to say thank you for accepting to be my girlfriend. You're I welcome. am so happy. I'm the most ex the happiest man on earth right now. <laughs> <laughs> so come on. Let's Oh, the dress. Don't worry, I'll help you clean it, okay? Or you'll buy me a new one. Come on, it's so. <laughs> I, if you want me to buy anything, just say it. So tonight I was thinking, how about we go on a date? Hmm? So mm. special treatment. So special, mm -hmm. please. You like it? <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? Uh, so I'll just let it be a secret. Yeah. I won't tell you till we get there. Oh, God. You and your many secrets. <laughs> I just love surprise. Okay. Beautiful woman like you. <laughs> do you like it? Hey, mm, come okay. here. <laughs> so, um...
Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, come on, darling. How about you go to the club tonight? And party. Baby, I don't want to go. Oh, no, come on. Don't start. Don't start. Please. Hmm? If you don't follow me, I will just carry for my head now to go club straight. I don't want to go, babe. I always sleep off. Come on, darling. You'll get used to it. Besides, how do you expect me to go to the club without my bestie? Hmm. You want those girls to come and tempt me, Abby? You want me to fall inside temptation? Make her just jack at her inside? Come okay. on. Babe. I don't want to go. Okay? Look, you are free to swim in that temptation. All right? <sighs> Babe, you know that I'm a very private person. <sighs> this, this, this is not my life. All this drinking, partying, clubbing every day. You know this. It's not me. I'm only doing this for you. Plus, Sydney, are you not tired of drinking and, and, and staying awake every night? Tired of drinking and staying awake? What are you saying, darling? That's what keeps me sane. If I don't run my sins, so if I don't show you, me, you don't show you, for the town, I work for you, self. Come on. Hey, all right, see, I, I promise you, okay? After tonight, we won't go to the club again till the weekend. What do you think? Sydney, mm -hmm. the weekend is only two days away. Oh. I haven't even ironed my work clothes. What clothes? Hey, hey, okay, listen. I am going to wash your clothes or iron them. I'll take you to work and I'll bring you back home every single day. Give me a smile. Okay, this bribery is not working. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Okay. I'll buy the club in your name, the lounge. You own it. And then you manage it. You just do whatever you want with it. <laughs> You're crazy. I am crazy. Yeah, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go and party. Woo! Time is going. Besides, I just want. Streets naked preaching. Exactly. I don't know where this is coming from. Trust me, I don't know. Like, where, where's this coming from? Like, a, me, Sydney, walking around the streets naked. Pre, 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 pre what? <laughs> That's not happening, come on. Like, no, it's not happening. Babe, this is getting too much. So no, 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 no. No, no, it's 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 not funny to me anymore. I'm scared. I don't know where this is coming from. I don't want to even think about it. Babe. You know you always take things so unseriously. But please, I I I think this is becoming scary. I mean, this is a madman's MO. Someone in the streets naked preaching. That's like that's a madman. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to 
be there one day and hear that my husband is mad in this church. Like, where is this coming from? Where? May Sydney preach how? And it, and it keeps happening, like... I'm, I'm, I'm literally tired of this. I'm tired of it. Um, babe. I think it's... Um, I think you need to talk to someone. Yes, a psychiatrist. No, no, um, a pastor. Hell no! A pastor? What do you want to talk to a pastor for? What? Like, I, I, I had a dream I was walking around the street naked. You want him to. Please, I am not talking to no freaking pastor. I'm not in for that shit. Babe, this thing sounds spiritual. What? Yes, you have to see a man of oh, God. Listen, please, don't Let's don't... get some explanation. Get a good insight into this thing. I'm not into this, this scary dream. I'm not interested. Okay? It'll go to stop somehow. I don't know, but I know it's gonna stop. I don't start. I don't want to do, I don't I don't want it to bother me. I don't want it to bug my head. I just I don't want to think about it too much. That's it. Ah. It's too serious to ignore, babe. Too serious to ignore. I'm scared. Ah, uh, uh, what are you doing? Come on! Oh, stop, stop. Hey, you know what? We need to go back to the house. Mm -hmm. And I need to rock my baby. Mm -hmm. Rock my baby. You know I'm always ready for you. Come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> you know what's up? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Stop it! What? What has happened? What happened? What's the problem? What was I saying? What was I saying? What What has happened? Did the pastor pray for you? No, I didn't. No? You didn't go to see him like we agreed? I did. But dude cannot help me. Cannot help you how? He said I have a call. And that because I am too stubborn, God has lifted his protection from me and that my life is in danger. Can you imagine that? You have a call. From where? From God. God. Wait. Is he saying that God is calling you to be like a man of God, as in a pastor? When he told me, I laughed. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Me? <laughs> and then he said the scariest thing I've ever heard. He said that the spirit of madness is locked around me and that if I don't accept God's call, I'm God forbid. Which God are you talking about? The one where they call me, I don't want to pick the call. <laughs> Which one? What are you saying? <laughs> okay, but, but, but wait, wait, wait. I don't understand. Could this be real? Is he for real? Calling Sydney. Sydney the bad dude. Like I'm, Sydney I'm, the club I'm master. Still, I'm still trying to wonder because there are responsible men out there. Why you don't call them? Why could they call me? Why? Authority. <laughs> am I don't rock? Am I don't rock, babes? 
To call me, not call the police call. Don't do your too much. Go, God, they call you. Go meet them. <laughs> See, you will be the crazy one if you do not take care of this right now. Which babes are you crazy? You're, you're married. See that you're married. I don't want to hear babes again. Don't, don't try that. Don't, look, look. I want to give you free hand, this guy. Take your time, though. This is the man you're talking to. Express yourself. But babe, really, what, what's so wrong in becoming a pastor? Huh? Think I'm now. That's a G-O. Miss Agubi Mone I know fit. Ah! Oh, yeah. Uh-uh. I'm not going to be skimpy skimpy again. See what's happening now. My friend, leave that thing. See you, babe! Babe! for me anymore. It's not. Then leave the lounge to me, okay? Let me keep handling it while you handle God's business. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Only you are my wife and there will be expectations from people out there. Sydney, I beg. I beg. This is not what you talk so. I'm not just one here, I'm at all. I beg, don't provoke me. Because I only agree to support you and, and, and not give up my independence. You are not giving up your independence, baby. You are not. You are only giving up the lounge. Besides, we can start other businesses like boutique. Other oh, boutique? What on earth will I be doing in a boutique, Sydney? I love to be around activities, and managing a lounge gives me just the right vibe. Baby, listen. You have always been there for me from the start. You have been my backbone. Please, I beg you, don't let the devil come between us. Please don't. I beg you, please. Please. Babe, this is not fair. This is not fair at all because you're the one who was called and not me. Why am I being dragged into this? Because we are partners. Yes. And I need you now. More than ever. I, I need you, please. Fine. Oh, thank you. It's fine. We can sell the lounge. But that's it. Sydney, that's it. Do not expect me to, to, to stop going with you to church programs or to begin to fast and pray with you or start to act like, like, like I was called, like most pastors' wives do, because I do not have a calling. I don't. I love my life. And if God wants me, let him call me too. Honey, listen to me. If God calls a husband, he has equally called a wife. Yes, the Bible says, and two shall become one. Or are we not one again? No, Sydney. We are joined as one by marriage. And, and not by what we do, not by our profession. Okay, if you were a banker, does that mean I'll become a banker too, just because you're my husband? Oh, or if you're a lawyer, does that mean I'll become a lawyer too, because I am your wife? Oh, yeah, so right. why? In God's name do I have to join you in your calling? That's not what I'm... Okay, I was called by God to manage a lounge. Now, tell me, sweetie, are you going to become a lounge manager just because I am your wife? Tell me! Look, I have a life, you have a life, and we both need to respect that.
morning. What a surprise this is. Where is that wife of yours? Now listen, this is not a social visit. I came here to ask your wife to stay away from my family. Where is she? Where is she? Uh, she, 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 she's here. You daughter of Jezebel. I welcomed you into my home even though I abhor your personality. And you have the guts to come into my house and spew your venom upon my innocent daughter. Uh, Mom, sorry. Did anything happen? Look at this. Does that look like a child I would bring up? You know, my daughter says she would love to be a model. And your wife encouraged her to follow her dreams. Now, now, who gave her the right to get involved in my daughter's destiny? Well, mommy, she lives it there. Will you shut up before I slap you? How dare you? Listen, I am so mad. I am, I am completely out of it. Anyway, you know what? I do not blame you. Because if you were not childless, you would know how to bring up a child. Pastor, I'm really sorry for barging into your home. I, I didn't want you to witness this, but it's happened. But I need you to tell your so-called wife to stay away from my family and I. Okay, I'll do that. Let's leave. Move! to say all that to you. Please. And what did you do when she was saying that to me? You, you don't expect me to accost her. She's the wife of my spiritual father. Oh. Because she's the wife of your spiritual father, it's okay for her to come to my home Oh no, honey. I, I, I didn't say that. I've had enough, Sydney. I've had enough. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to make a choice. What do you want? Do you want a wife? How do you want this? Tell me you're not serious. I'm serious. I'm tired of sharing my marriage with everyone, so make a choice. Honey, are you, are you asking me to choose between God and you? I'm telling you to choose between me 
and everything that stands in my way to happiness. Please, please stop, stop, stop it! I won't stop. I'm tired of living like this. I can't, I can't continue like this. Look at me. Do I look happy to you? So please, I need you to make a choice. It is either me or them. Choose! the center of it all is you that I see it's you that I see you are the center of everything I am going through it's only you that I see What else to run to? Please, Lord. Help me. Help me. You said that we should, we should cast our bondings and care. Yours, my Lord. I drop it at your feet. Come to my aid, Lord. Help. Help me. I said to love it all. It's you that I see It's you that I see At the center of it all it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Will I drop whatever situation I am going through. I'm 
not say that we're not mourning. Rather, we're celebrating because <laughs> Pharaoh has finally decided to let Israel go. Susan, she was his companion for years. Oh, well, was. Uh huh. So, listen, my dear son. The good Lord will send you a new companion that will be suitable for the calling that you have. Um, Sydney, ever since she left, have you been able to speak with her? No. My phone is switched off. <laughs> you don't have anybody, probably somebody she's putting up with that you can call. She doesn't have friends, no siblings, nobody at all. No wonder. What about her parents? Daddy, my wife is an orphan. Oh, e enough of the sad stories, please. Let's talk about something that would lift up our spirits. Oh, Pastor. You know, the women in the church, they're organizing this program, and they would love you to come and be a guest speaker. What? Yes, 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 yes. I know you're quite deep into this your online ministration. But this gives you an opportunity to mix with all the men and women of God. I think she's right. You know, programs like this avail young pastors like you the opportunity to actually express themselves. And you need it. Oh, uh, Daddy, Mommy, I'll come. <laughs> this calls for celebration. We are celebrating what's coming in the future. Goodness. I have a bottle of um, wine. Non-alcoholic, of course. Just give me a minute and fried meat. I'll be with you soon. Thank you, Mommy. Everything will be all right, okay? Power, power, wonder walking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power. Welcome to Era of Prayer and Prophecy. And I want you to open up your heart this morning and pray to God. Open up your hearts, tell him all your heart's desires because I know that the God of heaven and earth will see you through today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open up your heart and begin to pray. Talk to God, talk to God, open up your heart. Tell him all your heart desires. Open up your heart, pray to God. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for a day like this, Jesus. We worship your holy name. We adore you, King of glory. Thank you for a day like this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Sister, I see you, that you are going through a whole lot in your marriage. You are looking for the fruit of the womb, Lord. I trust God of heaven and earth that you will see it today in the name of Jesus. So open up your heads and begin to pray, 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 pray. Cast every foundation that cause, foundation that sickness is holding you back. Pray, 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 I join my faith with yours. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Today, your breakthrough is free. You are free. Free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open up your heart and pray. Be free. Breakthrough. Open up your heart and pray. Pray, 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 pray. God will heal you today. You are free. You are free from every sickness, every disease, every barrenness, every spirit of barrenness. I break through in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free, my sister. You are free. God will heal you. Today is your day. You are free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. 
Yes, Adelman. Today's a breakthrough. You will receive testimonies upon testimonies. Today, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At first, I did not want to do it. But I needed the money so, so badly. Um, Pastor Sidney offered to give me some money. I did not know who was going to use me for. How long have you been in the hospital for? Three months. And during this period, has Pastor Sidney he contacted you? No, but I tried calling him once to beg him to undo what he did to me. But he said if I try calling him again, he will kill me. <laughs> interview is everywhere on the internet. Even the other video too. What, what other video? <laughs> it's this video. Jesus. What? Pastor, it doesn't look doctored. It's real. That's you in your bedroom with the girl. And even if it was an accident, it would be too difficult for people to believe you now. But I don't know how this happened. I, I don't know. I don't... The girl said her sickness started in the morning after you both. And since then, she has been bleeding. Her tummy is getting bigger. And she said I am the cause. I, I caused it? Well, people are saying that you used her for rituals. already seen negative things about you. Yeah. They said you mentored him and so obviously both of you are same. God forbid. May I not be unequally yoked with the unrighteous. A man and a man. You know the funny thing is that the women in church don't want him Pastor Iki, as a guest speaker anymore. And I heard he's been banned on social media. Well innocent or not he first needs to prove himself before we would have anything to do with him. We don't want him to drag us to the mud. Spoil our reputation, if you know what I mean. But you and Dad always told me that family should stick together no matter what. So? Pastor Ike is our family. Pastor Ike is a family friend, not family. There's a huge difference between those two. We're supposed to be with our friends in their time of need. Oh, true. Provided it doesn't cost you your life. Marvelous stole Dad's money 
and traveled to South Africa with a woman. He got himself into trouble. You and Dad traveled to South Africa to get him out of trouble. Did they abandon him because of your reputation? Don't you ever mention your brother's name in this kind of conversation. And don't ever say this in front of people. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Yes, Mom. My darling daughter. When it comes to family, it's a different ball game. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Yes, Mom. Good. Pastor Sydney, but it's not your number, sir. What? Police station? Huh? What? What happened? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I'm on my way. I'll, I'll be there shortly. Okay, sir. Jesus Christ! Police station? How come? Sorry for the troubles. I didn't mean to trouble you like this. It's just that. <sighs> it's um, always happy to be here for you, Pastor. It's fine. But why didn't you call me yesterday? I could have come to get you. I was busy calling some people. Some people I considered my family, but it turned out they too have abandoned me. I would always be here for you, Pastor. Okay. God is in control. It's fine. Thank you. Let's just go, please. Please, just drop me off. Thank you, sir. Why 
Are you destroying my life? Why? Young lady, I don't have all day. You better start talking before I force words out of your mouth. Is it money? Because if you had asked nicely, I would have given you loads of it. But instead, you chose to tarnish my image. For what exactly? Societal pity? Is that it? See your new job is paying off for you now. People are sending you gifts and pizza messages. Congratulations to you. So you better start talking the witchcraft that you used to make that sex video. Because that is obviously not me. That is not me. You shouldn't have gone to the hospital. You shouldn't have. I was at my wit end. I mean, I can't make any post on my page anymore. I can't walk freely on the street without people embarrassing me, pointing accusing fingers at me. I cannot serve God anymore. No, Pastor, you can't. In every situation, we can always choose to serve God. No. I can't serve God the way I want to. I can't. I want to touch lives. I want to affect lives positively, but I... I can't. I mean, who is going to trust me with their lives when mine is at the verge of explosion? Who? But don't we all go through moments like this? Moment where our faith in God is tested. This is a test, Pastor. This test is too much. Lord, it's too much for me. You will be fine. Remember the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 that there is no temptation uncommon to man. But the assurance is that he said that he will not let his own carry more than they can bear, lest they stretch their hands to iniquity. God is faithful. We will overcome this by the blood. I know it. Okay, Pastor, we'll be fine. You'll be fine. But do you really think your wife is behind all this? I don't even know what to think anymore. Hello, Snake. I have a job for you.
How did you get here? I took a taxi. By the way, why does this house look so messed up? Um, my workers quit. Even if your workers quit, does the house have to look so untidy? Levi, what are you doing here? What do you mean? Is this not my uncle and my auntie's house? Can't I come here if I want to? Okay. Do your parents know you are here? <sighs> if I answer me, I am talking to you. Okay, uncle. I know it was wrong to have sneaked out of the house. But, uncle, I don't think you're being treated fairly. Uncle, no one wants to hear the wrong side of the story. Uncle, you're a good man, and I know that. I don't know what is happening. I don't know why it is happening. I don't even know how to handle it. I... Well, it's time you take your own bite of what Auntie has been passing through. I mean social media bullying. I have never harbored the thought of harming anyone. Not for a second. Not even when I was in the world. Like it's so disheartening, it's so disappointing that these people thought I could do such a despicable act to a girl I have never even seen. I can't remember meeting her for a second. I... My father always tells my brother and I that you should not worry about what people think about you, but what God says about you. Now, Uncle, tell me. Are you who people say you are, or you are who God says you are? If you are who God says you are, then stand on his words. We were able to raise some funds to support your treatment. And we are also organizing a fasting and prayer for you for your speed recovery. We were all fooled by Pastor Sidney's innocent look. That man is an evil man. Mm -hmm. And God will punish him for all his evil atrocities. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my sister. Thank God you were able to speak up. Only God knows how many women that man has destroyed their lives. Yeah. How dare you step your feet into this place? You and your husband, you have no shame. Oh, you actually came to check if she's still alive or she's dead. Lucy, Oluwa Tosi, bad moss. What should I call you? Candy. You think you can crawl out of nowhere to try to destroy my husband's reputation? You'd have to go through me. Did you tell your new friends here that once upon a time, Lucy was a stripper and a prostitute? Did you also tell them that your sickness is actually a medical condition and the reason you're doing this is because you needed to raise money for your surgery you broke net with? And you, wolves in sheep's clothing, you were quick to condemn my husband just because of a silly sex state that happened years ago. 
long before he ever imagined that he would become a pastor. If this is what Christianity is all about, then I weep for God. Hi everyone, my name is Onome Ike, wife of Pastor Sydney Ike. As at the time of making this video, I am separated from my husband because he chose God over me. My husband chose his service to God and man over me. Even though I had been with him through thick and thin. <laughs> when I met Sydney, he was far from the man that you all know today. He was wild, driven, carefree, and a party addict. We would go from one club to another, hook up with all kinds of girls. It was in that period that we met Lucy <sighs> Lucy was a stripper and a sex worker who went by the name Candy I was the one who invited her into my home it was my birthday So I told Candy, or Lucy, to come give my husband a strip show while I made a video. We did some crazy things that night. Things that I know that my husband of today is no longer proud of. We paid candy and that was it. She was just like every other girl that we had invited to our home back then. Lucy was diagnosed of gastroparesis a year ago and she was having difficulty raising money for her surgery and so she decided to raise the money off my husband by lying against him by 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 using his past to ruin his credibility in the house of God is pastor Sydney AK perfect no nobody is God does not even look for the perfect souls he seeks to perfect the imperfect ones. He knew that my husband was a sinner, yet he chose him because he saw his heart. He saw a man who was willing to give up his old ways to follow him above everything else, including his wife that he loved so much. It is so sad. That after all his sacrifices, you all out there did not hesitate to judge and crucify him without caring to know the full details. 
and because of your actions. Mommy. Mommy, look. Auntie Onoma is doing a live video. See, I told you uncle was innocent. The church has lost a good man. I expected you to be happy. Sir so God has finally vindicated you. You know, it's truly ironic how you used the one person that has suffered the most in all this to do it. But it's never too late to start again. It's never too late. you to find God the way I did. I didn't even know what I was doing until, until I had my encounter. It was my encounter and not yours. I, I should have tried to be less pushy and more considerate. should have stood by you and defended you like you did for me all this while. I know you. I know you more than anyone out there. You are a good person. You are an amazing soul on the moon. Please. I, I beg you. Put on the light you took. Because I have become like a man living in darkness. I don't want to continue like this, please. Please, Anna. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have made you choose between me and God. I mean, no one should be put in that kind of situation. Oh, does that mean you're coming back? Oh. Things have to change, Stefan. Anything you want, just, just say, what, what do you want, just say it. For one, I'm tired of staying at home. I mean, that's one of the reasons I've been on your case. I want to go back to the lounge. The lounge? Only you, you, you know what I stand for, the loud, come on, so how about I open a coffee shop for you? What? <laughs> what do you think you are, America? <laughs> I'm serious, I'm ser hey listen, 
You'd be surprised the number of people who can't start their day without a cup of coffee. In Nigeria. Yes! I'm serious, honey. Plus, we don't have much shops around. And I trust you so well. I know you can handle it. You believe in me that much? I trust you. <clears throat> a coffee shop and a bar. Oh. We will run the bar only in the evenings. Honey, what's with you and alcohol? Why you always, you always talk about bar lounge and... You tell me. I'm the monster you made because you're the one who always loved to get me drunk. Oh. Okay. I'm guilty. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so, um... What do you want to do about your ministration? Oh... I... I just want to go on a break for a while. What? Yeah. You're going to let one scandal scare you away from the presence of God. You call it one scandal? But it, it has affected me so bad. I know. Because I, I feel betrayed. I know. But none of these people called you to service. God did. And as far as I can tell, he did not abandon you. And as for your followers, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Yeah. That's what they have. So, you really want me to continue? Not me, but I believe he who called you never wanted you to quit. But, please, Sydney, you see that cyberbullying from your followers? I will not take it this time. You really have to talk to your people. Because if they try that with me again, I will not hesitate to arrest someone. Come on. Uh, fine, fine. I'm with you on this. I'm with you on this. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you. You're I mean, welcome. I don't have to become a pastor because my husband is a pastor. I'm not there. Uh -oh. Mommy, you, mm, big mommy, mm, whatever you Okay. <laughs> My That's name fine. is Mrs. Onome Ike, and I'll very much like you to remain that way. Hey. I am totally down with you on that. That's good to know. <clears throat> so, are you also down with us having a child? I am pregnant. Oh my god! Are you serious? Are you serious? Where's that come? What? Oh, oh, oh. Hold on a second, I. I thought you've been taking pills all this while. Yeah, I went off the pills three months ago, and now I'm five weeks gone. You are what? <laughs> you have made me the happiest man on earth. Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you so much! Yeah, babe, I'm so glad you're happy. I'm, so I'm happy. sorry I did not tell you, okay? I just felt having a child would alleviate my loneliness. Hey, I am here with you! Come on! <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, we really need to celebrate you, right? <laughs> come, 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 come! I am so, so happy! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for making me a proud father already! <laughs> Come on! Are you expecting me? Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Welcome. 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 Mrs. Ike, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you, sir. Um, Mrs. Ike. Uh, Mrs. Moko. Uh, I am. I, I brought you a gift. It's my own way of saying I am sorry for the not so good things I said and did to you. Please accept my apology. Please. 
Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate okay. this. Um, Daddy, Mommy, my wife and I are expecting a baby! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Congratulations! And, and, and guess what? Let me tell you both right now, you have a nanny in my little <laughs> girl. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, so good to hear. Oh, and, and when baby eventually comes, just trust that I would. Mm. <laughs> Until then. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. You right? <laughs> I cannot wait. Huh? Oh, congratulations. Thank, thank you very much. This is good news. Oh, so I'm glad we got <laughs> We need to celebrate. Hallelujah. <laughs> let's celebrate. <laughs> thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Let's say a word of prayer. <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead, Pastor. A word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you glory. Thank you.